afternoon. My penultimate day here in Hanoi. Check back to last night. We last saw me the restaurant and then went back to hostel and then a couple of guys, a couple of, a guy and a girl from where we were going out on a bar call. So I went and joined them for like one drink, of course. I'm not an alcoholic. And then, yeah, I went to one bar and I just called it a night. I just, not really feeling it. Still showing with tiredness, still showing with fatigue. Slept for about 10 hours last night, 11 hours. And so, yeah. Got up late this morning and now plan this today is just to tick off some of the touristy stuff or as much as possible. Obviously, as I mentioned, Lunar New Year here, so a lot of stuff is sure. Half an hour to find some breakfast this morning, which was less than ideal. Ooh. Almost got here. Yeah. Funny if I car, not a motorbike. Uh, plan today is going to go and see the rest of the story stuff I've not seen and hopefully make it to train street, it's just train street and see a train go by. So that's the plan, and I'll keep you updated. I'm currently here, there's a Hotei Lake, and there's a pagoda around here, which is meant to be quite cool. So we'll go and have a look. So we'll start the day here, and we'll see what we get up to. Also, the sun has decided to make an appearance. 20 degrees, sun's out, humidity is low, so this is like the perfect day to walk around, see in Hanoi. I'm very surprised, it's a bit cold today, but it's beautiful. And it's funny as well, look at me, got a smile on my face because the sun's out. Anyway, let's go and have a look around and see what I get to. Right, been on a mega walk, and now I'm back on Train Street. Basically, to watch the train go by. See, it's very busy. Very busy. Um, so, gonna go and watch it. It's about seven, eight minutes away. So, I wanna see it because it's meant to be quite cool. So, next scenes will be a train inches or less than a meter from my body. So, stay tuned. That's so why you've got like all the people on here, but then you've just got people there as well. So I can see that there. The people on the balcons. Very cool. Anyway, see you in about five minutes. It's coming. They're telling everyone to like move in. Very close. That was so cool. That was like, that was amazing. Uh, yeah, like spit surreal again. One of these things I've seen on sort of social media again, and it's like, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Right, uh, I'm gonna head off. That was so cool. Right, let's go get some lunch. Catch you in a bit. Yo, so it's just after midnight, Sunday the 22nd of January, so it's like 10 past midnight. Um, so it's just in a hostel chilling and then came out for fireworks. Obviously, it's Lunar New Year. So our hostel has like a rooftop on the eighth floor. So I was basically watching it from there and it was amazing. You could see like the main sort of fireworks, but also some of the fireworks down around the city. So I'm just gonna go on a walk now to basically the old town where the like beer street is. It's like Hanoi Old Old Town Beer Street, and we're just gonna have a quick wander. This might be quite cool, it might be dead, but I'm taking a bit of a, a punt and seeing what is going on down there right now. So I'll catch you very shortly. Right, just heading back now. Who was burning shit on the road? Fire. Fire. That's warm. Yeah, very interesting. First ever Lunar New Year in. Well, anywhere really, it's not really a thing in the UK, I don't believe. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's not something I've come across, but yeah, very interesting. Very similar to obviously New Year, sort of December 31st, but 
yeah, very interesting and cool to experience that for the first time. Seems like a very big thing here, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna round up today here. Catch you guys in the morning. Final full day in Hanoi. Busy day tomorrow. Got a lot of choice stuff to do, about three or four things. Might try and do a gym session. We'll see. Right, catch you in the morning. Right, morning. Or just after, just after 12, so afternoon. Final full day in Hanoi. So, yeah, final full day. Got about three or four things I want to do. Tick off, so I want to do that this morning. Can't we, on an absolute mission, trying to find some breakfast? Like, I don't know, it was hard enough when it wasn't the really New Year, right? But this last couple of days, it's just been a nightmare trying to get some form of breakfast. Like, you can get, I'm not disappointed you can get some food, but I just don't particularly want like fried duck at 11 o'clock in the morning. Or like, you know, a curry at, like, I don't know, a Vietnamese curry or like, uh, I, I don't know, just like or squid at half of in the morning. It's just so difficult to get some food around here. Like, honestly, I must be walking over at half an hour, everything's shut. And what is short? Like they're just serving like lunch, and it's like there's no way you can get like an all-day breakfast or something like that. So it's a bit of a nightmare, absolute nightmare, and I'm absolutely starving. So first, first job is trying to locate some breakfast. Second job then is to go and take off these two or three things. First job, get some food, but I don't know where I'm gonna get food from. Uh, I'll keep updated with where we get to. So I'll see you guys shortly. Do you know what I don't get as well? Like, there's massive coffee culture here in Hanoi. Like, there's a coffee shop based on every single street. Like, it's ridiculous. However, what I don't understand is, none of them sell food. Like, I don't get it. Like, honestly, there's just a massive market there to sell food with coffee. So, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm leaving the UK, I wanna get, come and get Vietnam citizenship. I wanna create a coffee shop that serves food. My second option, I'm gonna come here and serve British breakfast or Western breakfast. Uh, in the old quarter. So, um, UK, it's been nice knowing you. I want to apply for that citizenship and uh, we are good to go to set up my coffee slash food empire here in Vietnam. It's going, still going to acquire some food. Don't know where. Stop one a day. Temple of Worcestershire. Very busy. Very, very busy. Temple which was built under Lai Thang Tha Thong's dynasty in 1070 to honor Confucius. It became Vietnam's imperial academy and now is basically a prestigious school for top academics. A base of temple honors Vietnam's finest scholars and signifies the beginning of the uniform education system in Vietnam, hence its significance. So there you go, Temple Literature. A bit of key facts for you. Right, let's move on. Next stop is the Hanoi Fag Tower. Stop number two, the Fag Tower behind me. But it also is next to the Vit uh, Vietnam Military War Museum. Those of artifacts here from the war got planes and US Air Force plane over there, US helicopters all basically captured. That's basically the massive sort of wreckage over there. That's a combination I believe of French and USA sort of basic plane wreckage. And you've got a couple of tanks which are Soviet tanks I believe. The USA tanks and then see well that one was seized by the uh, South Vietnam Liberation Army and that one was using the Vietnam one manufactured by the USA. Very interesting stuff. Now I'm just gonna walk up into the Fag Tower. That was a, it's a similar city in one's part of the, of the Hanoi Citadel, a world heritage site. So let's have a look. Fortunately, we can't get to the top. There's the top, we can't get to it, but it's a view. You can see the temple which are just behind me there. If it'll focus, there. And then obviously you can see all the, the sort of aircraft and missiles and helicopter just below me. <laughs> Citadel done. Just see the fact that I was behind me over there. Over there somewhere. We're done. Oh, and get some water. Maybe get some lunch. And then. I need to go and train. I want to go and train. I feel like I want to go and train. So, next scene is we'll probably be in the gym. <laughs> See you guys later. Right, how are we doing? Didn't actually end up going to the gym. Just chilled out and did a bit of work, a bit of editing. Uh, and then went for dinner. A nice little pizza, just found the corner of here. And that's going to round up Hanoi. Next scenes will be in Hong Bay tomorrow. Got an early bus about 7.30am. It's about 11pm now, so I'm just going to head to bed. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Next scenes, Heilong Bay, the Vietnam journey continues, the Asia adventure journey continues. See you later, guys.